Eli started his night by checking his telegrams to find a letter from Thomas, the man who offered him a job as a farmer. Howdy there, my friend. Thomas? Yes, sir. I was literally just wondering. Is that <laughs> Eli? You know, if you have a fellow who can uh, be everything in the county, it kind of, you know, defeats the purpose of jobs. Yeah. Well, I'm a farmer now. After showing me how to become a farmer, Thomas showed me where the cheapest place to buy water is. Next, Thomas shows Eli where he's going to be doing most of his farming. In Gorm. Goddamn, I do. Do you need $60? No, nah, I got it. On the way to the farming fields, we met a fellow named Arthur Grimshaw. A British fellow who also wanted to become a farmer. After showing them around, Thomas decided to take Eli to show him where he can buy his seeds. This is where we learned Arthur is dog shit at fighting. Wait again, did he just use a knife? Oh fuck, he's got in a fight with someone. Oh fuck! Oh, he's getting in more of a fight. Did, did he die? Is he? Is he dead? Is it Arthur! Jesus! After a short trip to the doctor, Arthur returns and is ready to go. While showing us to the spot of where we're going to farm, Thomas decided to tell us the rules of some places in county. Oh, and also don't sell drugs in Sydney. God, do not sell drugs in Sydney. Or Annisburg. What's considered matter. drugs? So, um... We're talking about like blunts, we're talking skull. There's we're weed? Mushrooms, opium. Oh, yeah. I'll show you where that is in a little bit. I didn't know I could be a weed farmer. Thomas then taught Eli how to farm. So, I'm not actually sure the growth time is off the top of my head, I'll be entirely honest, because I farm so much. Like, by the time I've like planted all my seeds and watered everything, because I do it in as many bunches as I can water, plant, water. Move on to the next one once all the holes are done. Um, I don't know, because by the time I get to the beginning, it's already done. While having a conversation with Thomas and Arthur, an unexpected guest shows up. Howdy, partner. I'm Eli Freeman. Hello. Gentlemen, the king of saint right here. I seen you in saint Denis earlier. Huh? I seen you in Saint Denis earlier. I don't know who your fancy top hat friend is though. YouTuber. Uh, what are you doing? Just farming uh, carrots? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what was your name again, sir? Scott Clyde. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Eli Freeman. Uh, Thomas, if you want to come over here, and I'll talk to you in a minute, and then uh, gotcha, boys, have a good one. You and, too, uh, sir. After a very intimidating meeting with the King of St. Denis, Scott Clyde, Eli got back to work. I'm meeting too many people too fast. <laughs> I know I wanted connections, but God, I'm just a humble farmer. <laughs> After harvesting those carrots, Thomas takes Eli and Arthur to the clothes store in St. Denis to get their farming uniforms. How do they go, my friend? Let's do? Yeah, that looks fine, my friend. That looks fantastic. Arthur, Thomas, and Eli then went back to Guam to do some more carrot farming. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever. No matter. After some successful farming, Thomas and Eli head to Valentine to go to the saloon. What the fuck? Eli? Huh? Uh... Huh? Why can I hear you? Don't worry, buddy, you got this. Just remember, this place is, uh... Oh, what are you doing outside the door? Well, if you're paying for the premium service, just remember, this ain't like, you know, oh, you'll figure it out yourself. Whoa, she is a lot of fre- you got a lot of freckles on your titties, ma'am. Whoa, what are you doing? You didn't have my consent! Move. What the fuck he say? What does he think he's talking to? What the fuck did he even say? He said move. All like a rude little bitch. He 
say something coming in, my friend? What did I say? Well, that's what I'm asking you, my friend. I do not recall saying anything to you. Move, move. <sighs> okay, that's this. That's this. What do you mean? They got beef stew. That's right. Move. What happens next is quite confusing. Why do you keep starting problems with people, Thomas? I don't stop problems with people. I have Why do you always start problems, Thomas? Hey, who oh, left the no, wagon out there? Manila. It was me, sir. Hola, como estas? My Go wagon, move it. You can't just leave it in the middle of the road and block the whole road. Stupid ass. Hey, you know, that's that's move it. Huh? Move it. We don't have no. money for a knife. I would think I would have a wagon. Move it. No, Isn't I will that not. that interesting? Is it you or you? I have the one in blue. Oh, this, is getting, this is getting interesting. It's I just mine. got a question. How do you not have money for a knife? I but do you not have money for a wagon. A wagon. Daddy. It's, uh, it's my who wagon. Robbed, madam. Who the fuck is oh, whose wagon is it? Come on. Me. Who parked it? Me. Did you park it there? Yeah. Move it. You can't Why? have it in the middle of the road. Yeah, I was going to block the eat. entire town. You you so? blocking the entire road. So? Hold hold then. You better Whoa, partner. Whoa, oh, hey, yo, oh, partner. Whoa, oh, hey, oh, partner. Oh, 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 my lord. Oh. Pick him, Douglas. Pick him. Gentlemen, we stop. Wait. Oh, my lord. Good goddamn fighter, though. Don't Holy shit. He is fucking you up. What the fuck are you doing? What the That's fuck right. was that? Noise? No, wait, no, Mar sir, Mr. Lawman, this guy no, started no. shooting. No, Lawman, Lawman, Lawman. No, 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 no. Why am I being hogtied for, partner? This, this, no, no, Lawman, Lawman, listen, listen, listen. That guy shot me. Harold, that guy shot me. Mr. Lying, sir. They Hello, are lying, Mr. sir. They attacked me Sorry, without just get them reason. Shut the hell your mouth. Shut the hell your they mouth. They attacked me for no reason. Hello, Mr. Loman. Ow! What the fuck? Mr. Loman. What the fuck? No, what the hell? Fucking we didn't even fuck? do nothing. What the hell? Oh, God you damn folks mind that just the exit oh, this long okay. yeah, What the hell do you got going on here, shooting. partner? What can type of fucking town? Don't break from your bonds. See, don't do it. Can you please let no. me go? That guy. I didn't do anything. But we literally, man, we just came here to get some fucking stew. Listen to me. God damn it, why did we come to Valentine? Will you please listen? Why is she hogtied? What is this hypocrisy? It's because I'm Native American, isn't it? Oh, shit. When the man who owns the carriage, the really tall one with the ponytail, comes in and gets some stew as well. Mm -hmm. Then the man with the blue sash comes in and starts threatening everyone. He says, whoever owns that cart needs to move it right now. Okay. And so, then the guy with the ponytail claims the cart and said that he's just going to eat and then he's going to leave. Then the blue sash takes out a pistol, fires two shots, and then the big guy in the ponytail starts beating his ass. And then you intervened. Okay. Now... I'm not gonna really say what happened around there, but that guy with like the the short sleeves, you know, the guy with the beard, he did mm -hmm. absolutely beat the shit out of like a guy with a gun, and it was fucking impressive. I give him a high five if you see him, because that was fucking amazing. After giving the law our statement, these two Indian fellows decided to continue to cause trouble for the inhabitants of Valentine. Let's go. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's no. the guy. That's the guy. He's gonna shoot someone okay. else now. Yeah. Fuck. Let me get it. Okay. See, 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 I told you, I told you, he's shooting, I told you. Oh shit! After said commotion, Eli and Thomas decided to head to the train station in order to say goodbye to each other for the day.